The last step in the annotation process is to set the proper annotation group to the feature definitions in question. And so if we go to the Agency XYZ Feature Definitions DGN library where we imported the stationing for the plan view annotation, we can show an example of how to do that. So let's go ahead and open that file and we can go down to our symbologies, to our linear, and in this case our alignments and we have an alignment major here to show stationing along and so we'll right click and select properties and in here we have now an entry to select the annotation group and so we will expand down and we will see that entry and we select that so now that annotation group is then linked to that particular feature symbology which is then used by this particular feature definition. So if a user selects this feature definition alignment major with annotation, it will then use this symbology and take advantage of then the annotation group and execute the labeling of the station tick marks, the stationing, the curve labels, etc. And you would repeat that process. Uh, for example, if you had annotations set up for your profiles, you would go down to your feature symbologies for profiles and let's say that you wanted to look at your profiles here again you have an annotation group to set for your profile labeling and then lastly you have cross sections but there's not an entry in here for cross sections the cross section annotation group is assigned when you create your sheet seed definitions for creating your cross section sheets and that is covered in the video series that shows you how to develop those sheets and so the annotation group for your cross sections needs to be developed before you actually create your sheets. And just one final reminder on bulk editing of features in general. We talked about this in a video where we were migrating our features over from Select Series 4 and I mentioned it then, I'm going to repeat it now. When you do bulk editing of features one of the things that you have to do is you have to import everything back to a blank file. The requirements for your feature definitions in Open Roads Designer Connect Edition is that the annotation groups, the element templates, the feature definitions all need to reside in the same file along with the feature symbologies. And so the order to import your levels don't necessarily have to be part of your DGN library. They can be separate but everything else needs to be in this file. So if you want your levels to be part of this file as well, you would import your levels first, then you would import your element templates, then you would import all of your annotation groups, then you would import feature symbologies, and lastly you would import feature definitions. The only optional entry there is levels. Those can be in a separate DGN library at the time of this recording. So just remember that you want to bring annotation groups in before symbologies and then bring in symbologies before definitions, but element templates needs to be first in the list if your levels are somewhere else. So just keep that in mind if you are doing bulk editing and bringing things back in. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.